Shows and Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Top major sign from God, it's time to move and relocate. Because wherever you're at, you've outgrown. There's some times where you're in a place for a while and things are all good at first. And then, unfortunately, they go left. Unfortunately, they don't turn out the way you expected. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's an actual beautiful thing. When things don't turn out the, w the way you've expected, it's not because things aren't working out for you. It's not because things aren't meant to be in a, in a negative way. They're not meant to be because there's something out there better for you. God always has something out there that's better for you. So when things don't work out and when things don't turn out how it's supposed to go, those are some of the major signs that it's time for you to go. When people are aware of what you're doing, when people are too aware of what you're doing, when people are being too nosy, when people are popping up at the same places that you're at, when you're being, you guessed it, gang stalked. When people are gang stalking you to the point to where it's like, this is this is really getting out of hand, this is getting old, this is getting annoying, and you're tired of it, it's time to go someplace else. You deserve peace. You deserve to be in a certain area to where you're able to chill, where you're able to relax, you're able to focus on what you're supposed to do, and you're not worried about people trying to get in your way in terms of like getting get in the way of you living your life. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about people getting in the way of you living your life. Everyone deserves that place and that space to where there's positive things they can look look forward to and expect in life. You know, things aren't perfect, but you're supposed to be able to look forward to and expect positive things. And you may have to relocate. You may have to not be in a certain area too long. Maybe you're one of those people that are heavily watched, heavily surveilled. You may have to do this a couple times. You may have to relocate from place to place to place to place to place to place to place until you can find that perfect creative space, until you can find the place where God wants you to be. Because there are just certain signs that God doesn't want you to be there. When you feel uncomfortable, when you're constantly stressed out, when you feel uncomfortable and you are stressed out, sometimes it's time to go. And I'm not talking about uncomfortable just like life. Life is uncomfortable at times. You have to get, un you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We all know that. Sometimes there are things in life that are just uncomfortable that you have to get comfortable with. Dealing with, uh, dealing with confrontation, dealing with people, handling situations, uh, dealing with all kinds of things. You know, whatever it is you got to deal with, whatever it is you have to do, there are certain things that you just have to, there's certain things that you just have to deal with when it comes to certain people. And sometimes it makes you uncomfortable, but you got to get comfortable with it. You're like, okay, once you get comfortable with it, you're like, okay, that's nothing. It's just it is what it is. This is how you handle this type of situation. This is how you handle that type of situation. But when it gets past that and people are just doing things that are just immature, people are doing things to where it's just causing you a problem every single day. These people are trying to stress you out to the point of death. They're trying to make you have a heart attack or something. They're just doing things that you don't like. They're, they're just being the type of person that you don't like. It's time to go. And I know some people say, well, you know, I don't have the money or I don't have to. Don't worry about any of that. Your health, if, if you end up dying from stress because the area is killing you, you know, then <laughs> it, it's eating you up so badly. Every time you turn the key to get into this place, you, you won't have to worry about having any money on, on the level where you're going at. You know, it's going it's to be a whole different form of currency where you headed. You know, you, you're not going to have to worry. You're not going to have to worry about the dollar bill ever again. But. If you want to, if you, you want to keep getting dollar bills, and not only keep getting dollar bills, but I said that just to be funny, but not only just keep getting dollar bills. If, if you want to stay, if you want to ah 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 staying alive, staying alive ah ah. If you want to stay alive, and and not be stressed into an early grave, 
from all the narcissistic people that are around you, all the demonic souls that are trying to torment you, you got to move someplace else. And you might not be ready. You might not be prepared. But the, the thing we forget is that with God in our life, we're always ready. With, with God in our life, we're always prepared. It doesn't matter what other people, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter what life is looking like. It doesn't matter how much is in your bank account. It doesn't matter what type of situation you're going to get into. Like Job said, whatever you fear will come upon you. Don't fear the negatives. What if it works out for the best? What if things work out all right? We get upset. We get afraid. We get scared. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if this is the right move. If people are trying to kill you and stress you out and just do things that are just annoying as heck, yeah, it's the right move because you're 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 moving for peace. You're 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 making a change in your life for the better, and God will always be there for that. God will always be there for you to make a change for the better. He'll always be there for you when you're choosing peace over BS. All right. What's 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 it better to you, peace or BS or stress? You know, you don't want the stress. You know, there's always stress in life, of course, but there's certain things that you can just avoid and that can be avoided by just relocating and going to another area. Well, Drew, well, what if you move to another area and the same thing happens and you keep going through the same thing? Well, guess up. Guess what? You may have to move someplace else. You may have to move someplace else. You may have to. It's trial and error. But the thing is, you're going to learn different experiences. You're going to learn different things from, from your experiences. And God is going to be there with you along the whole entire way. And everything that happens is going to mold and shape you into being the greatest version of yourself. So what you have to do is you still have to relocate. You can't give up. You can't settle for less just because things aren't turning out the way you want them to turn out. You can't settle for less. You may have to be there for a month or two. But once you decide that that's not the place for you, you can go. We're not tethered. We're not shackled. We're not uh, we're not um, stuck. And that's the thing we have to realize. We get in certain situations and we feel stuck. You, If you feel stuck, it's because you got the spirit of you don't know where to go. You're, you're not allowing God to put his hand on your life and guide you where you need to go. If you don't know where you need to go, ask God to guide you where you need to go. Wherever you need to go is wherever you feel you're going to be mo the most successful at. That's where you need to go. That place that you're afraid to go to, that place that you're afraid, like, you know, I don't know how things are going to work out. I don't know if things are going to uh, be okay. I don't know. That's the place you need to go. And we all got to get to that point. We all have to get to that point to where, yo, it's time to go. I have to I gotta put my back against the wall. I got to throw caution to the wind. Things may not be perfect. Things may not be all the way right. But with God in my life, I can't lose. With God in my life, things are going to work out regardless of how I think, regardless of how I think they may turn out, regardless of how um, things are looking in the back of my mind. Like regardless of how badly I feel or how bad this I feel this may not work out. You may feel like that, but God has something in, in better in store for you regardless of your feelings. Screw your feelings. Screw how you feel at this particular point. You always trust your intuition. If you don't feel that that's the right move, move, move someplace else. Pray about it. Talk to God about it. Ask him to guide you and show you where it is you need to go. But if you're being stressed out to the point to where you can't think straight, you want to uh, you feel like you need to fight someone or you feel like you're going to end up fighting someone or you feel like you're going to end up getting into arguments with people or you feel like it's just too much and you, you need some peace. You need to get away from it. Just get up and leave. Get up and go. Find some place to go. Find some place else to be. It's, it's worth it for you to be someplace else. It is. It's worth it for you to go someplace else. It's worth it for you to be someplace else. You don't have to be anywhere where you don't want to be. And unfortunately, we get stuck. We, we feel stuck because we may not have enough finances. We may not have enough money. But the thing is, if you're if you're focused on money, that's the stuff that's not, that is not going to be there for you in the day of judgment. In the day of judgment, your money's not going to matter. It's going to matter what you did. It's going to matter that you trusted God, that you believed in him. Your finances may not be all the way right. Your money might be a little funny. But guess what? If you will get up and go, and if you will trust in yourself, and if you'll throw caution to the wind, there's some things that you may have to go through, but you'll eventually getting to you'll eventually get to where you want to get and it'll all be worth it. And we all have to get to that point. We all have to put our trust in God and not put our trust in 
what we see physically happening or, or what our senses are telling us. Oh, yo, I, it's not looking too good in this area. It's not looking too great in that area. You still have to get up and go. That's what Jesus is about. That's what the Bible is about. That's what all the stories are about. You have to trust and believe in yourself and you have, you have to have that spark that's that that's way awakened in you you have to have that thing that's awakened in you you have to have that thing that's turned on in you that's why you have to listen to things that turn you on all right you have to listen to things that turn on something inside of you and make you brave enough and courageous enough to say you know what man i already I, like what, what else is what's 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 there to lose what's to lose what is there to lose? All right, if you're getting gang stalked, if you're getting pursued, if you got people watching you, and if you got people trying to backstab you and betray you, you've already been through a lot. What do you got to lose? You've already been through so much. All right, especially if you if you live through some life threatening situations, you really don't have anything to lose. Some people where you live is a war zone. Some people, what you've been through, you almost lost your life. Some people have been in a critical condition and now they're back to normal by the grace of God. It's like everybody's experienced things that almost took them out. Everybody's experienced things that were the hardest thing for them or anybody to ever go through. If you've made it through that, there's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing that you can't do. So throw caution to the wind, believe in yourself and the top, those, these are the top major signs. It's time to go. If you feel like there's nothing, if you feel like how I'm explaining in this video, like y'all been through everything. I've been through so much. I know I'm ready for a change. I know I'm ready for new experiences. I know I'm ready to live my life. I know it's something out there that I'm supposed to be doing. If you feel like your life is missing something, if you feel like this area is not serving you, if you feel like the, the people in this area are bringing you down, if you feel like where you're at is not positive, it's not a positive environment, it's only causing you stress every day you feel super anxious and your anxiety is through the roof that's because you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be you're not supposed to be there wherever your your gifts and talents will suit you the best that's where you're supposed to be that place that you're afraid to go because you think things aren't going to work out and you think you're going to end up broke and poor that's that's the devil that's evil that's that's uh doubt those are all the things trying to stop you from going to where it is you need to go you need to go to that place to where you think things aren't going to work out. You need to go to that place to where you think you're going to end up broke and, and empty handed and stranded and abandoned. You need to go to that place. And I'm not talking about putting yourself in a bad situation. I'm talking about going to the place to where you could put your skills into action. You could put your dream into action. It's, it's always something that's going to work out for you. There are places to work. There are places to live. There are places to stay. God is real. He'll, cre he'll create a way for you. God makes a way when there is no way. And if you, if you put yourself into a situation where there is no way, and if you believe in God, he will make a way for you. It's, there's no way that, this, that you will not be successful if you do what you are afraid to do. Feel the, Les Brown said, feel the fear and do it anyhow. It has to come to a point to where you, you don't just say what people said. It has to come to a point where you just don't feel good about what somebody says. It has to come to a point to where you're not just motivated. You actually go out and say, you know what, yo, I'm doing this because I feel this. I feel what this person is saying. What this person is saying is speaking to my soul and I have to go out. I have to act out on it. I have to believe in myself. I have to go make this happen. Regardless of how I feel about how things are going to turn out, regardless of how I feel about myself, regardless about how I feel, what level I'm on, how good I'm at. If I'm if I'm not good enough, I still have to go out. I got to see for myself. And sometimes you'll fail, but you won't die. Like people think they're going to die if they go out and, 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 and things don't work out. You may fail, but you're not going to die. And you have to fail your way to success. If, if you go out and you try something and it doesn't work out, look at God. You're still alive. You're still here. If you have tried some things and failed and you still feel stuck, that's because you're, you're not moving. If you if you feel like, yo, man, I tried this. I went out. I did that. It didn't really work out. I don't know if I should. No, go do it again. Go fail some more. Go do it again. Go do something that you feel like you're, you're going to your life is going to crumble and fall apart. Do it all over again. And I'm not telling you to throw your life away. I'm not telling you to put yourself in any harmful, uh, bad, toxic, negative situations to where you're going to get hurt. But what I am telling you is, is that you need to throw caution to the wind and whatever it is you feel afraid to do, where, where wherever it is you feel afraid to go, oh, I might die. I might, this happen. This might happen. That might happen. Unfortunately, that's life. Certain things may happen, but I guarantee you all it is that's going to happen is you, the most that may happen is you're going to fail. You're, you're thinking about the worst. 
you're thinking about the worst. If, if you have something that you're here to do and that's all you're trying to do, all you're going to end up doing is failing your way to success. That's the worst thing that could happen. You're not going to die because you go out to live your dream. You're not going to die because you go out to be successful and it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. You're not going to die because of that. People are, you know, we, we, we get so afraid and we get so scared of how things are going to turn out because we're too worried about how people are going to look at us if things don't turn out. This is why you don't tell people about what you're doing. And this is also why you don't care about how people feel about what you're doing. If you fail and end up with nothing, who cares? I guarantee you, if you keep going, you're going to end up with something greater than what you had, greater than what the people talking about you have, greater than and greater than what you lost. You're going to end up greater than you ever could imagine. And that's the point. That's the point that you got to get to. I know that's the point where I'm at. And, and that's the point that we all have to get to where you're just like, yo, forget, forget it. What, what do I what do I have to lose by taking a chance on myself? If I feel so great about myself, if I feel so talented, if I feel so skilled, if I feel that I'm just so amazing at, at what I'm good at and I have all these things to offer, then what am I just what am I doing just sitting around with them? What am I doing just wasting time? It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your your race, it doesn't matter what you are, it doesn't matter man, woman, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have something that you're that you were put here to do. If you have something that you're great at, you need to go do that thing and you need to go make that happen. Because the longer you wait, the longer you waste time, the harder it's going to get. And the, the more doubt, the more uh, defeated your mind is going to be, the more um, the, the, the more of a defeatist mindset you're going to develop. When you don't go out and act on things, you develop a defeatist mindset and you don't want that defeatist mindset. You have to go out and do whatever it is that you feel you're supposed to do, no matter how hard you think it's going to be. And you can't you cannot allow fear of how things are going to turn out or work out. Get in your way. You can't because you have to keep in mind. What if things are going to work out? It's, it's it, all that fear and doubt is trying to stop you and block you. Like you don't know how things are going to turn out unless you go out and do them. And the worst thing that's going to happen to you is if you're just going to fail. And failure is a beautiful thing. Failure is an amazing thing. You might fail, but guess what? You didn't give up. You still tried. You still did something. You have in order to in order to fail, you have to have done something. The people who are talking, the people who have something to say about somebody who failed, aren't doing anything. So who cares what they have to say anyway? They're not doing anything. They're the least of your worries. Just like Aaliyah said, she said, "You you dust yourself off, you get back up, and you try again." And that's what people are afraid to do. That's what that's what we end up being afraid to do. We end up being afraid to try because of, oh, well, what if I end up this or what if I end up that or I don't have enough this or I don't have enough that or I'm not ready yet or no, you are ready. If it's something that you want to do, you are ready. You you will develop the skills. You will develop the talent. You will meet the right people. You will land the right job. You will land the right opportunities. All these things will come to you. There's people who have little education end up getting the opportunity that they want. There's people who have little skills and end up getting the opportunity at, that they want. Why? Because they were in the right place at the right time and they were there. There are people who want to do what they want to do and don't even know how to do it. And they still leave and they go and they're there, end up getting internships, end up getting positions. People end up liking them because they see something in them that they see in themselves. It's not just negative, evil people that gang up on you and see something in each other that they see in themselves. Oh, you're evil. Me too. Let's gang up on this one. That's not those aren't the only people who are able to see things in people. There's people who are able to see things in you as well. And if you leave, if you go, if you take uh, life by the horns, if you throw caution to the wind and you take a chance on yourself, I'm telling you. What do you have to lose? What do we have to lose? But we stand still and we sit around and we let years pass by. We let time pass us by because of fear of what may happen. And yo, fear, don't let fear destroy your dream. I'm not letting fear destroy my dream. I'm, it's, it, it, whatever I have to throw caution to the wind at, whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it. I know, I, I know that's what I was put here to do. And you have that's how you have to feel. That is how you have to feel. It's how you have to feel. And it's, it's what you have to do. You cannot allow time to pass you by any longer. You can't allow yourself to waste any more of your days. You have to do what it is you were put here to do. And you can't worry about things not working out right. What if they? What if things turn out how you expect them to or better? That's the one thing that we don't tend to think about. What if things tend to work out how we want them to do or better? What if things tend to work out how you want them to or better? 
things have the potential to work out how you want them to. But you won't know if you don't try. You have to try. You have to take a leap of faith. It's certain things that you have to do. You may not feel like it. You may feel uncomfortable. You may be afraid. You got to push all that fear to the side. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And it's, it's just false evidence appearing real. It's just the things that you fear the most. All right. That might happen. That might happen. That might happen. But you're still alive. You still have a chance to go be successful. You still have a chance to go live your dream. You still have a chance to do what it is you want to do. So if you feel like this, this is a major sign that it's time for you to relocate. You feel like it's something you're supposed to be doing. People are gang stalking you. If people are gang stalking you, that means you're famous. If people are gang stalking you, that means it's something that you were put here to do. If people are gang stalking you. That means it's something about you that um, the world uh, needs. You have something to offer. You, you have a light in you. You have something that shines in you. You have something great about you. You have something that you're supposed to be using, doing, something that you're supposed to uh, be being. You're supposed to be being someone, and that someone is you, but you're not going to be that someone if you just sit around, be afraid, and not go out and do anything and not choose to live your life. People, oh, well, you go out there, they might hurt you. You go out there, it's terrible out there. You go out there, uh, something bad may happen. Uh, yeah, people don't make it out there. Uh, yeah, people, that's, that's where people, uh, dreams go to die. You go out there, they're going to eat you up. People people will say things like that, but you have to believe that things are going to work out for you. And the thing is, you know things will work out for you. You have just been afraid to try. You know deep down inside that things will work out for you if you just get up and go. If you get up and go and you put that fear to the side, you're going to put all that negativity to the side. You have to put fear to the side so that your dreams can thrive. That's what we have to do. You have to put fear to the side so that way your, your dreams can thrive. It's what you have to do. If not, you're just going to stay in the same place and not be doing anything. And you can't live your life like that if you want to live your life, period. If you want to live your life, if you want to have a life. And again, I'm not telling anybody to go out and do anything dangerous. I'm not telling anybody to go out and, and uh, ruin their life. I'm not telling anyone to go harm themselves or put yourself in the midst of danger. But what I am telling you is you're not going to die just because you have a dream. You're not going to die because you want to go out and be successful. You're not going to die because you're going out and throwing caution to the wind. It's something that God put in you and he's pushing you. If you feel like anxious where you're at, it's because you're not doing something and you're supposed to be doing something. And God is trying to push you. He's using these anxieties. He's using these negative people. He's using these gang stalkers to try to push you into an area where you would be better suited at, an area that would better serve you. So that way you could go out and have that success that you always wanted. Because at the end of the day, it's him wanting to experience that success in you, through you, and as you. And that's the, that's the point to where we have to come to, to where we realize that, yo, the reason why these things are happening is because it's something that we're supposed to be doing someplace, somewhere. And you got to ask God to guide you and show you where that place is and where you're supposed to be so that way you can go out and have that. You can have everything that life has to offer, everything that he wants you to have, everything that you're supposed to be doing and everything that you're supposed to be. All right. That's what it is. That's why you feel anxious just sitting around. That's why these people are, are getting on your nerves because you know you're not even supposed to be there. They're getting on your nerves because they don't even want you there. They know you're not even supposed to be there. That's why you're targeted. You're supposed to be someplace better. You're supposed to be doing big things. You're not supposed to be just in some area where people are just treating you weird every day and people reacting to you strange. They're, they're treating you like that because it's something about you that stands out. They're acting like that towards you because it's, it, you're, you are somebody. You're someone that has something to offer, great things to offer. You're supposed to be doing amazing things, and they can see it. They just upset, mad. It's not them. So what you have to do is you have to push all that fear to the side. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if I'm the one. I don't know if things are going to go right. I don't know if things are going to go well. To hell with all that. Things are going to work out good. What if things do turn out right? What if things work out better than you expect? You have to start expecting the best. You may have that fear. Still expect the best. You may be afraid. Still expect the best. You may not think things are going to work out. Still put your best foot forward. You have to not be afraid of success. You cannot have fear of success. Even if you feel failure, even if you fear failure, you still fear success because you have to fail your way to success. You have to. You have to make sure that you're failing in life to end up being successful one day. All those days of failure are going to lead up to multiple days of success. And that's just the way it is. 
I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. Live your life to the fullest and push that fear to the side. We out.